20 years today since she's been gone. <laughs> about the legendary, the infamously bad soprano, Florence Foster Jenkins. Judy Kay always says that, that pitch is mental. Uh, so uh, that gave a framework, a theatrical framework. We work to really hone this badness, you know. <laughs> This character was probably the original American Idol, you know. She, people came to watch her and, and watch, you know, the, the embarrassment of, of her singing. I could see them crying when she sat. <coughs> Doubled over in their seats, hitting each other. <laughs> It's about the difference between what you're doing and what you perceive to be doing, <laughs> and who loves, loves you enough to tell you and who loves you enough not to tell you. In our lives, we all see people and you think, really, you think that? But, well, okay, well, good for you. And you can't quite work out how they can do that, but obviously that's how they get through their lives. I love it so much, and it's, it's not just that it's funny, and she's an outrageous character, and you get to wear great clothes and jump around and be silly. It's that it has so much heart. The play has never looked as good as it does in this beautiful theater. It's almost as though the set was destined to play on this stage. And it has not looked so good anywhere, including Broadway, including any of the many regional theaters we have now played with this Broadway. Company. I admire Madame Flo so much for her, her intrepid spirit, her, her passion, uh, and it's, it's, it's really a privilege to get to play her eight times a week. Beautifully acted, beautifully directed, and more fun than anybody should get to have in any one night.